Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins' Math Club. Today's topic is comparing integers, okay? So in our previous video, we talked about an introduction to integers, okay? So that video was about what exactly integers are and how we can determine whether it is a positive number or a negative number according to the signs, okay? So in this lesson, we will be covering pretty much the same concept. However, we will be using that concept to determine whether how we can uh, compare and order the integers from least to greatest and greatest to least order, okay? So now we have two different examples here. First, we'll learn how to order integers from least to greatest, and then we'll flip it to greatest to least, okay? So we have four simple steps, and step number one says, identify whether the integer is positive or negative. This is pretty much what we did in our last video. So we're going to identify whether the number is a positive number or a negative number using the sign in front of the integer, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at our numbers, okay? Our integers. So we have a negative 3. Now, I know this is a negative because it has a minus sign in front of it, okay? Now, if it had a plus sign, it would be a positive, okay? Next number we have is 6. Now, also remember this rule. If an integer does not have a sign in front of it, it is a positive number, always, okay? Next number is a minus 15 or a negative 15. And then, next we have 7, and we know this is going to be a positive because it does not have a sign in front of it. Next, we have 0. Now, remember this rule. In our previous video, we said this, that 0 is not a positive, nor is it a negative, okay? It is still an integer, and it, but it is also the center of it. So, this is, this is kind of like our boundary that separates the positives and the negatives, okay? So, you will always have the negatives on the left side of the number line, right? And 0 is going to be the boundary between the negatives and the positives, which is going to be on the right side, okay? So, 0 is not a positive or a negative, so we're going to leave it as it is. Now, don't think just because 0 does not have a sign, it's a positive, because it is not. It is not a positive or a negative, okay? So, keep that in mind. Now, our last number, our last integer is 6, and it is a positive 6, because it has a plus sign in front of it. So, now that we know each sign, we can now tell whether it's a positive or a negative, right? So, if it has minus sign, it's a negative, plus sign, it's a positive, okay? Next, it says, separate the integers according to positive and negative. So now what we're going to do is kind of make this kind of a chart. So we're going to have our positive numbers over here. And we're going to have our negative numbers over here. Okay. So now we're going to make this chart. And now we're going to separate them. So we're going to write our positive numbers and our negative numbers. So we know that... Negative 3 is a negative, right? Because it has a minus sign. A positive 6 is a positive. So we're just going to keep on uh, sorting them out, okay? So minus 15 is a negative. Plus 7 or positive 7 is a positive. Sorry. Okay, and 0, we're just going to go ahead and write this to the side for now because we know it's not a positive or a negative. And 6 is a positive number because it has a plus sign in front of it, okay? So now that we have separated them, Next step, step number three says, order the positives and negatives, least to greatest or greatest to least, depending on what the question asks. And this question asks least to greatest, so we're going to order each of them separately from least to greatest. So in the positives, we now have two sixes, right? So it doesn't matter which way we write them. So we can write six, six, and then seven, because remember, least to greatest, so six is the least, and then seven is the greatest, okay? And then in negatives, remember this rule. The, the smaller the number, the greater the value. This goes for negatives. That means the smaller the number is, the more value it holds. So that means a negative 3 is actually greater than a negative 15. So if we're doing least to greatest, we'll come and write negative 15 first because it's least. And then negative 3 is going to be the greatest, okay? So now, once we've done that, step number 4 says... Put all of the integers together. From greatest to least, you'll put the positives first and then negatives. But in this case, we're doing least to greatest. And for that, you're going to write the negatives first and then the positives. So now we've already separated them. All we have to do is put them together. So negatives first and then positives for least to greatest. So we're going to go ahead and write negative 15, negative 3, and then positive 6, positive 6, and then positive 7. Now also keep this thing in mind. For a negative number, you do have to put the minus sign, but for a positive number, it's not important that you put the plus sign every time, okay? So it's okay if you don't write a, po um, a positive sign or a plus sign in front of the positive number. It's just your choice. So I'm just writing it now, but it doesn't really matter, okay? So this means that we have now ordered them. So 
Our original numbers, which were negative 3, positive 6, negative 15, positive 7, 0, and positive 6, if we put them in least to greatest, we have negative 15, negative 3, positive 6, positive 6, and positive 7. Well, wait a minute. We left out that 0. Where does the 0 go? Well, remember what we said. 0 is the boundary that separates the negatives and the positives. So, when we write our negatives, we're going to keep the negative 15 and the negative 3, but before we put the positives, we're going to go ahead and put the 0 in, so, so this is our boundary, okay? And then we're going to write positive 6, positive 6, and positive 7. So this is actually our correct order from least to greatest, okay? So now we're done with our first problem. Now our second example is order the following integers from greatest to least. So this time, first we did least to greatest, now we're doing greatest to least, okay? So we go ahead and scroll down here. We're going to do the same thing that we did for this first one, okay? So first we're going to write our numbers down, and we're going to determine whether it's a positive or a negative, which is step one. So first we have 13, and remember, since this does not have a sign, it is a positive. Next we have negative 18. Now we have 18, but this is going to be a positive, okay? And then we have negative 4, positive 5, and a negative 2. And now we're going to continue this chart. However, I'll just make a line so that it is separated, okay? So positives on one side, negatives on the other. So we're going to write our positives here and then the negatives on this side. So we have positive 13, we have positive 18, and we have positive 5. And on the other side for our negatives, we have negative 18, negative 4, and negative 2. Now go ahead and write them in. So this time we're doing greatest to least. And for greatest to least, we're going to go ahead and do for our positives, eight, 18 is the greatest, then 13, and then 5. And remember, same rule goes for negatives. The smaller the number, the greater the value. So that means if you flip it over, the greater the number, the smaller the value, okay? So if we're doing greatest to least, then the greater the number, that no number is going to be the least. So now if we have negative 2, negative 2 here is actually the greatest number. Okay, so for greatest to least, we're going to do negative 2, negative 4, and negative 18. Now step number 4, put all the integers together, and for greatest to least, it's the positives come first and the negatives, okay? So we're going to have positive 18. So once again, you don't need to write the plus sign, so over here I'm just going to write 13, okay? 5. Now for negatives, yes, you do have to, because or else it'll look like it's a positive, okay? So negative 2, negative 4, and negative 18, and this time we don't have to worry about the 0 because 0 was not one of our integers, okay? So that means this is our greatest to least order. So that's all I have for this video. Now I hope you guys understood this. If you want to find extra practice problems on this topic or any other topic, please feel free to visit our website at broincessmathclub.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!